Ashley. Ashley. I'm right here. I thought you were gonna die. Okay. You did this. Yeah. Yeah, I did this. Can you stand? Yeah, I found it. I think it says we can get out if we go this way. Hey, we're a team, right? Keep this up. I'll be out of a job. Hell yeah, we're so, a team. All of this, removing the parasites, this was the weeks. Yeah, we're alive. Thanks to him. Thanks to my boy Luis, who had all this set up. Welcome back, Noodles. It is time for the finale of our Resident Evil 4 playthrough. So, those of you that have been here through the whole series and watched it all, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for checking out this series. Let's go ahead and get into the end of it. Someone had a field day looting the Umbrella Labs. <laughs> This sample, which I've come to call the Amber, was just sitting in the storeroom collecting dust. We have used, we used to have ample specimens for experimentation in the past, but it, so it makes sense that this one was overlooked. In fact, the only reason I brought it back to my lab was because of its peculiar shape. After a basic analysis, I've changed my mind. The Amber possesses a very unique quality. Although small and in suspended state, it contains the same organ found in the dominant species which we've only seen in Sadler himself. When fully developed, the amber may rival or perhaps even surpass Sadler's power. Unfortunately, amber, the amber was confiscated by Sadler before I could make any further progress in my research. He may be on to me. I need to get my hands on that sample again and escape in order to continue my research elsewhere. It's the only way to counter Sadler. Of course, I don't think I can trust this outside group either, but I've already come this far. Hopefully I can sweet talk my way out of this one too. I'll have to, for the world's sake. Yeah, sadly it didn't last. What? That? Samples and stuff? I'm guessing? I uh -huh. Just looking around his lab for a minute here. Regarding our arrangement from, or regarding our relation, arrangement from Luis. I've compiled the research data that you wanted. Meet me in the designated time and place. To be clear, you're going to get me the hell out of here if I bring you the goods, right? Reply regarding our arrangement from <laughs> AW. I hope you haven't forgotten about the amber. Without it, the data is worthless. It would be a shame to let your seat go to waste, so do not make me return empty-handed. You still remember the code phrase, I assume. Re-re-reply. <laughs> Relax, I haven't forgotten, and don't worry about the amber. I'll figure something out. Think you can pick me up a pack of smokes on the way? Any brand is fine. <laughs> Luis. Yeah, that was, uh, AW. Let me know if you know who AW is down in the comments. I know, but I want to see if you know. There are two ways to eradicate Las Plagas. Antigen injection and surgery. If the parasite is not hatched yet, it can be treated by administering antigen directly into the body. Once it is hatched, however, there's not much that can be done besides slow its growth. With surgery, the plaga can be targeted and killed with a certain wavelength of radiation. But this is not without its risks. If the parasite has attached itself to the host's nervous system, the host will experience excruciating pain, and there is no effective anesthesia for this kind of procedure. Surgical removal carries considerable risk even before this parasite has fully developed. Once full grown, however, it's too late. Removing the parasite would kill the host. But considering what will happen to them, death may be a mercy. Yeah. That's the team, huh? I wish we could like flip it on the back, but I guess there's nothing there to see on the back. There was Luis. 
the team. I'm sure that was the other doctors too that ended up turning into stuff. Sadler's Animus. Do not be fooled into thinking that Las Plagas are merely tools for creating powerful bioweapons. Their true value lies in their ability to control. No matter how hostile the subject, a single injection can turn anyone into a faithful servant. Who needs spies when you can turn yesterday's enemy into today's ally? Controlling just one insider can bring an entire organization, an entire country, to its knees. Mass production of the superior species has made this possible. We have empowered Sadler. It is clear what he intends to do next. Can you imagine if Sadler had that much control? Six billion loyal servants at his sole command. There would be no opposition, no war. Maybe for the first time in human history, the world would know peace. But I know how Sadler and the others have oppressed the people on this island for generations. I know how he treats them. That's no way to live. And because of that, I won't let it happen. Well, yeah, he was going to turn everybody into mindless zombies, pretty much. But not like your regular, you know, flesh-eating zombie variant. It was going to be Mr. Plogahead variant. <laughs> So it does look like there is a treasure in this room, so I'm going to have to check that out. I believe up top here. Take a look around real quick, Ash. What do you think? Look, I bet we could use that. Probably. I'm just trying to see where this treasure might be. Oh, there it is. Ah, okay. We could use what? This? Oh, no. She means this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Sorry. Like I said, we're a team. You're getting good at that. Right? We're number one. You're okay. Uh, never been better. I feel like a million bucks, Ashley. <laughs> Definitely feel way better than I probably would have if I never got that out of me. <laughs> Man, I'm wondering how this fight is going to go this area we've got to make our way to the final battle here this is gonna be interesting look at this place that woman who helped us you think she's all right Ada oh I'm sure she's fine Ada she's not the type to roll over that easy she can take care of herself like you know her well Leon knows her pretty well. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so we got these guys to worry about. Great. So that leads to a dead end, but I wonder if there's any goodies and stuff at this dead end. So we're going to check. There's a door. Oh, so this leads on to the rest of it. So we don't want to go this way just yet. Not just yet. There's this little path over here where there's looks like a treasure. So we want to get said treasure first. I'm, con I'm like terrified of all the bugs. Yep, there's one. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. You didn't sneak on me that time, did ya? Oh! Is there any more? Osman. Yeah. So is that supposed to be Sadler? Got the Illuminatos pendant on the back of this. Deep beneath the castle grounds, I have found my faith. Oh, behold, the divine vision. Oh. 
deep beneath the castle grounds I have found my faith. Oh behold, the divine vestige left upon this world. It all begins here. Adam Sadler. <laughs> Adam Sadler. Adam Sandler! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Praise be the holy insects. We have been promised paradise on earth. Man, woman, or child. His love does not discriminate. Beast, fish, or bird, all creatures shall be equally blessed. Praise be the holy insects. We are the humble servants of God. His wisdom will overcome any mountain. His omnipotence will cross any ocean. The light of heaven dwells in all things. Let our bodies be the seed bed. Praise be the holy insects. We are the flock and the shepherd guides us. Our prayer will be sung all over the world. They will be heard by all. At last, we shall exceed the stars in the sky. Okay. Yeah. Good for you guys, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not worshiping bugs. <laughs> Let's go. I will say, though, that chandelier is actually kind of cool looking. All the antlers and everything. Let's go, Ashley. Wait, there's gunpowder in here? Man, I'd have missed that if I didn't check the map. Look, another bug. <laughs> Always funny when I can catch him by surprise. Oh god, and then they catch me by surprise. Guess what? Curse stab. How you like them apples? Here we come to the end. Grab that treasure. Grab this treasure. All right. Uh, gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. <laughs> Doesn't it though? <laughs> so, noodles, you know the deal. Once I get done in here, we're going to start the end. All right. Noodles, it's time. Got our save point. I've got the uh, rocket launcher. Cuz I'm sure I'm going to need it. Let's take a looky here. It's Ada. Ada. It's got her hung up. <laughs> Thinks he's gonna lure me out. Well, he kind of is, isn't he? Stay here. I won't be long. Okay. Suck if he missed. Sadler! Oh, man. Hell yeah.
Oh man, I did not know it was gonna go there. Oh god, oh god. Ah. Let's see if I can do this. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm not trying to waste it. Come on. We just gotta get him down here, I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Man, do you ever shut up? Talk about a guy that likes to hear himself. Let's see. Ow! Oh goodness. kill him oh yeah that's what I was thinking that didn't kill him holy crap there's a part two I'm getting sick of your shit dude he's become like the Hydra or something Holy crapola. Finally, a look that suits you, Sadler. A monster in and out. Still, I need to cut this date short. It's not me. It's you. Oh, come on. I thought I was going to get a dodge. Like that. Ah, you think I'd learn the first time or the second time. Use this. Thank goodness. Thank you, Ada. That's crazy. Ida. Now, uh, uh, Leon. What are you doing? Nothing personal, Leon. Luis and I had an arrangement. Don't worry, I'll take good care of it.
right here. You coming? I think we both know this. This is where we go our separate ways. I see. gonna be fun. Until I wonder how this time. is gonna be yeah. on keyboard compared to if I had a controller. Leon! Guess we'll find out. Where is she going? Who knows? I don't understand. Why would she just gotta move? Island's gonna blow. It's gonna what? Yeah. Huh. It's gonna what? Go, Ashley, you ready? Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah. I am gonna make a quick save. All right, let's go. Now we can go home. I don't care about any treasures right yet. now. I don't care about nothing in this tunnel. If there are treasures, oh well. Uh oh. Let's go. Gotta get out of here. Oh, God. You all can eat butt. What's going on? They're nothing now. Their master is gone. It's over for them. Yep. We destroyed the nervous system. And now they're going bonky crazy. I kind of feel bad for them because I know not all of them were like evil people. You like thrill rides? They just kind of got coerced into this. All right, let's see how this is gonna go on mouse and keyboard here. Stuff in the way. Ashley, I see the light. I see the light. You all right? I'm not sure that was insane. Damn. I'm never vacationing here again. Mission accomplished, right? Mission accomplished. When you're home safe. Thank you for saving me. Don't mention it. You know, I could put in a word with my dad. Have you assigned to my detail, if you're interested. 
You don't need me. You proved you could handle yourself. Even if you could use a lesson in knife safety. <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. <gasps> Rooster Condor One, do you read me? Come in. I said, come in. Is this thing even on? Leon. Leon, are you and Ashley all right? Where are you? Come on. Wow. Just wow. I'm gonna let the credits roll here just for a bit. Give my final thoughts on how uh, this game was if you want to hear that. If not, you know, I appreciate you watching the video at least or getting to this point. So the rest of this is just going to be my thoughts on the remake itself and just kind of where we're at. That was beautiful. That was probably one of the best remakes I have played, especially of the Resident Evil remakes. Resident Evil two and three i never actually played when they first came out back way back in the day on what playstation one i believe so resident evil four has a very special place in my heart i love that game despite its flaws and everything in the past what they have done with this was definitely like a perfect re-envisioning remaster for it it's just good job capcom like standing ovation for you good job for you guys the studio that did this the resident evil studio like everybody that's in the credits right now good job good 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 freaking job see and it's kind of showing the story like what happened these people in this village and all that the poor people wow this is a really cool credit scene. I like this. But anyway, I mean, there are a couple things like I like the the weight of the characters now, like how hefty it, the movement is. But at the same time, I kind of miss my quick movement stuff that I was able to do. I love the fact that I can like aim and shoot and move at the same time. That is wonderful. But yeah, this is just this was such a great remake great game to me 10 out of 10 9 out of 10 if you want to like omit some of the some of the qualms like i said with the clunky movement a little bit but yeah oh okay we got another cutscene here patch me through i've obtained the amber Excellent. Just one question. What are you planning to do with this? I do not pay you to ask questions. All you need to know is a new dawn is breaking. A hundred will give their lives so that just one may live. I am expediting that change. So... We're talking millions of casualties. Billions. How ambitious. We're changing course now. Oh, really? So Ada does have a conscience, maybe? Yeah, I never understand why Wesker just wants to annihilate the world and everything. Is he just psychotic like that? I, I never understand it. Like, what's the point? But I guess if he wants to be the ultimate ruler or something, I don't freaking know, man. But Wesker's got his own agenda, I guess. But yeah, this, this was just a beautiful game, beautiful remake. I enjoyed every bit of it. All the nuance, 
all the all the new stuff that they did I just think it was awesome so I'm not gonna let the uh, I am gonna probably have to replace the music in the credits and just letting you guys know it's probably not gonna be the same music in in the game so but uh yeah like that was such a good remake I'm so happy right now and now I get to play it off camera <laughs> without a uh, first reaction stuff because I, I wanted to make sure this playthrough was strictly me and my first reactions to it. Granted, I don't have my face on this. It's just because, like, when I do face, I only do it on my streams. If I have to do a video with my face, I'm just always curious about how my face looks and the way I'm doing it. So that's why I do videos without face, mainly, because if I just have my voice, you guys, I think that's fair enough. Not, a, not everybody has to have their face on camera. I'm just not a camera loving guy. <laughs> but yeah, that was amazing. That was beautiful. It was great. I hope you guys appreciate the videos and I hope you guys appreciate the series. It took a lot of hard work in editing this stuff and also just making time to record and get this going. It's been a slow burn as far as releasing, you know, two episodes a week type deal with this. I appreciate everybody for their help, for their advice, for the support, and you know, I hope we can keep growing and getting the channel bigger and having more people to enjoy the community with. So share this to your friends. Uh, make sure you go back and watch the original Resident Evil 4 playthrough that I have if you want to check out the original game. I also have the uh, Separate Ways playthrough as well so you can see Ada's perspective in the uh, Resident Evil 4 story. So. I wonder if they'll actually do that as a DLC for this game. That would be kind of cool. But I wish you all a safe, happy rest of your day. Please be safe out there. And I, again, I thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it so freaking much. You guys have no clue what it means to me. Other than that, have a wonderful rest of your day. And stay tuned, because we'll be doing a new game series at some point in the future. So... Be on the lookout for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And thank you, everybody. Toodaloo.